Is it wrong to criticize Christians as a follower of Jesus Christ? Is it wrong to evaluate the teachings of a Christian leader? Is it wrong to expose the immoral behavior of a Christian? Is criticizing unloving and divisive? Thinking about the answers to these questions may bring up quite a few experiences that you may have had with other fellow believers. Many object to criticism and use the common responses such as, It is wrong to judge and he who is without sin casts the first stone. From this point, many will relinquish any further contention. What many don't realize is that they are giving into heresy and undermining the foundation of their faith. When sinful behaviors are allowed, a response such as, you are criticizing, judging me, and being unloving, requires a decision to be made whether to concede or respond with truth. In the Old Testament, it was established that those who practiced idolatry and immorality were accountable for their actions and behaviors. The Israelites were instructed by God to practice good discernment in these matters. Galatians chapter 3, verses 24 and 25 says, Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But after that faith is come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. There is nothing in the New Testament which contradicts the law of the Old Testament, nor has God himself changed. The change is how we relate to God because the death of Jesus Christ offers forgiveness of sins. Deuteronomy chapter 13 verses 1 through 5 says, If there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, and giveth thee a sign or a wonder, and the sign or the wonder come to pass whereof he spake unto thee, saying, Let us go after other gods which thou hast not known, and let us serve them. Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams, for the Lord your God proveth you to know whether ye love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Ye shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice, and ye shall serve him and cleave unto him. And that prophet or that dreamer of dreams shall be put to death because he has spoken to turn you away from the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt and redeemed you out of the house of bondage to thrust thee out of the way which the Lord thy God commanded thee to walk in. So shalt thou put the evil away from the midst of thee. In Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 6 through 8, If thy brother the son of thy mother, or thy son, or thy daughter, or the wife of thy bosom, or thy friend, which is as thine own soul, entice thee secretly, saying, Let us go and serve other gods, which thou hast not known, thou nor thy fathers, namely of the gods of the people which are round about you, nigh unto thee, or far off from thee, from the one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth, thou shalt not consent unto him, nor hearken unto him, neither shall thine eye pity him, neither shalt thou spare, neither shalt thou conceal him. Psalm chapter 50, verse 17 and 18 says, Seeing thou hatest instruction, and casteth my words behind thee, when thou sawest a thief, then thou consent consentedst with him, and has been partaker with adulterers. These are some pretty harsh judgments that God required his followers to uphold. In the New Testament, God also requires his followers to judge with righteous judgment as part of the body of Christ. Christians stake their very souls on what is said in the Bible, but hardly ever read it. 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 12 and 13 says, For what, I ha what have I to do to judge them also that are without? Do not ye judge them that are within, but them that are without God judgeth. Therefore put away from among yourselves that wicked person. Christians nowadays are being too ignorant to the blatant sin in the body of Christ. The wrong mindset of the Christian should not judge is actually binding, blinding themselves to the sins of their brother or sister. Titus chapter 1 verse 9 says, Holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. Acts chapter 17 verse 11 says, These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, and that they received the word with all readiness of mind, and searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. 
1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 21 and 22. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good, abstain from all appearance of evil. John chapter 7, verse 24. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. The true followers of Jesus Christ use him as an example on how we should conduct matters of ethics, morality, rebuke, judgment, sin, refutation, and accountability. The Bible describes Jesus Christ expelling the money changers from the temple, publicly condemning the scribes and Pharisees, and rebuking Peter in front of the other disciples. The Apostle Paul followed the same example by publicly criticizing Peter and naming false teachers who were in the church. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 14 through 19 says, Of these things put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord, that they strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of the hearers. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, but shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness, and their word will eat as doth a canker, of whom is Hymenaeus and Philetus, who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already, and overthrow the faith of some. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his, and let every one that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Galatians chapter 2 verse 11, But when Peter was come, to Antioch, I withstood him to the face, because he was to be blamed. Galatians chapter 2, verse 14, But when I saw that they walked not uprightly according to the truth of the gospel, I said unto Peter before them all, If thou, being a Jew, livest after the manner of Gentiles, and not as do the Jews, why compellest thou the Gentiles to live as do the Jews? The modern church today has forgotten the truth and the required constructive actions that must be taken in order to preserve the integrity of the faith. The judgment on the behaviors of false teaching and immorality belongs to those who are the church who are the church as affirmed in scripture. Titus chapter 1 verse 15 and 16 unto the pure all things are pure but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure but even their mind and conscience is defiled. They profess that they know God, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate. First Timothy chapter 5 verse 20, them that sin rebuke before all that others may that others also may fear. Matthew chapter 18 verse 15 through 17, moreover if thy brother shall trespass against thee, Go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee, take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen man and a publican. Unfortunately, most modern church leaders believe that they are not accountable to God's people and think they are above them. If a leader is not above reproach, teaches a man-made doctrine, and behaves immor immorally, he should be rebuked if there is no repentance and be disqualified. 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 2. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given hospitality, apt to teach. Titus chapter 1 verse 13 This witness is true wherefore rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in the faith What truly characterizes the church is how well the truth is handled the word of God and the application of its principles upholding sound doctrine requires the refutation of those who are in opposition to it the church cannot and will not be strong in their faith in Jesus Christ without being comfortable in scrutinizing and criticizing when it is required. The maturity, growth, strength, and reputation of the body of Christ depends on it. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.
AcceptYouBeConverted.com is an anti-church system, Trinitarian, free will, eternal security, King James only, Christian Zionist, Young Earth Creation, Lordship Salvation Ministry, where you can learn sound doctrine, apologetics, hermeneutics, and more. AcceptYouBeConverted.com is mobile friendly and secure from hackers and malware with SiteLock. Are you looking for fellowship? AcceptYouBeConverted.com is a virtual community with daily visits from men and women around the globe. Each page includes a comment section. There is a live chat feature that is available in the desktop and mobile version where you can chat with anyone on the site at any time. Join the fun on the message board which you can access by clicking on the link on the footer or by going to acceptyoubeconverted.proboards.com. Acceptyoubeconverted.com offers MP3 Bible teaching through Sermon Audio, which you can access through the website or through sermonaudio.com or the Sermon Audio app. Just search for It Is Written KJV. If you would like to send me your prayer requests, questions, or comments, there is a contact form on the website, also my Facebook and Twitter. Feel free to contact me anytime. I would love to hear from you. Please visit today. Support the ministry. Share with your friends and family. Share on gospel tracks. Pray for the ministry. Become a partner and help spread the truth of God's word far and wide. Introducing new video series for YouTube channel. It is written KJV 1611. Bible Hermeneutics. Learn how to correctly interpret the Bible. Defending the Faith. Master apologetics and be prepared to answer any objections. KJV Bible Q&A. Answering various questions with the Bible. Doctrines of Devils Refuted. Refuting many false doctrines with Scripture. False Church System Exposed. Exposing the many problems within the modern church system. Go Preach. All about spreading the gospel. False teachers exposed. Bible teachers held accountable and named by name. KJV defended. Exposing corrupt modern Bible versions and teaching all things concerning the King James Bible. And more. Please subscribe and share.